hello guys welcome to JD home and in today's tutorial we'll show you guys how to model wall niche okay but before then i want to apologize for not being online for some time now because my system actually had an issue there so i'm not being online but thank god everything has been rectified now so we are fully back now so um i saw a comment some um on one of the videos that i should make a tutorial or a video on how to model wall niche okay so that's what we're doing this morning okay so let's move into the video without wasting much of your time so first thing is um create an additional wall okay let's say this is this wall now you're seeing let's say this is the main wall inside that you design let's say you're trying to create maybe a bit of tv console using you know pop okay using pop and you want to create that particular wall niche inside this one now is this one serve this white one now serve as that particular pop design that you're going to do okay and um this one you're seeing the dark one now is the existing wall of that particular building you're working on okay so this one the uh, measurement of this one that's the dimension of this particular one is two to five you can see it from okay you can see the thickness from here okay this is two to five and then for the additional one i made it 300 you can see the thickness here 300 so now how do we start the niche okay there's one particular tool there's one particular tool i'll be showing you guys which is known as this one this opening tool okay this is opening tool so once you click on this little arrow you're going to see different kinds of opening i know um the video that means myself the video that is here is kind of blocking some of the things but don't worry about that because we'll be using the ones at the top okay so the first thing is select um know the particular design you want to do okay you can make a sketch maybe a little sketch and then from there now you you know which of um the the openings you'll be selecting okay so let's make use of rectangular okay because with the rectangular we can do any kind of design with it so there's circular this one is chimney and um there's um circular niche recess okay there's rectangular so i'll be using rectangular i hope you guys are seeing this one here the name is rectangular niche in case the video is blocking the place this is rectangular niche okay once i click on this one i double click on it okay i can use it to create any design of my choice let me show what i'm talking about let's say let's click from here and then click inside sorry let's double click once you double click it to show now you see with this particular opening this little thing this little thing you're seeing we can use it to do any design we want okay thank god we are here together don't don't forget i always got you okay so let me show you what i'm talking about now there's one thing i want you to understand once you click on this opening okay once you click on this opening you can see green lines outside there's green lines outside and also there's blue line inside okay this thing is acting automatically we've turned this thing to be acting as um this wall now is acting with this particular box and this wall We'll make this wall to be acting as a slab because with slab you can easily adjust any of the side with this blue line so once we use this opening you can assume that this pin this um, wall you're seeing is now a slab so you can do the adjustment here inside now let's say we want to expand this opening just click inside make sure you select that inner one and then you see this offset edge click on it and then drag it this is the same thing that slab does okay and click on this side you can see we have the big opening now then click on this one take it up to this side you can see we have the same thing and then now let me show you something take this one down to this point you can see is it's um it's kind of working just like slab okay this is kind of like um let's say tv kind of design it's working like slab now okay so now let's take this one back to this side let's make this one back to i just want to create a simple design okay simple design now if you click on this one or uh, if you click on this blue um the blue line we use it to open okay like to offset if you click on this um green line on the node, one of the nodes and tap control it will give you room to copy that particular thing okay now let's paste it here remember it's two now it's two now so i will take this one back please make sure you are following okay i'm holding on the blue line now then i'll take this one back to this side you can see we have two openings now so i'll zoom i'll just take this one this one back to this point and i'll take this one higher 
I hope you're getting what I'm doing. Okay. Before you do anything like adjustment, make sure you hold, you click on the blue line. On the blue line, and make sure it's under offset edge. Okay. Make sure it's under offset edge. Now I will still click on the green line on the node. Tap control to have this plus sign and copy this one downward. You can see that kind of um, POP design. That TV POP design, that's what we are seeing here now. Okay. But for you to have this thickness, make sure you set that wall as that particular thickness, okay? As that particular thickness. And then now, what are we doing now is to copy these two, okay? Click on the first one, tap, shift, and click on the second one. And click on the second one. Then hold this node, okay? Tap control to have a copy of it. Bring it to this side and click you can see what we have now okay you can see what we have it's coming out so that's what i'm saying before you start make sure you have that particular design in mind now let me show you something very interesting this will allow you to be flexible with your work okay flexible with your work. don't forget i got you <laughs> so now click on this blue line inside instead of offsetting now click on create or insert new note this thing you're seeing insert new note now we've creating a node from here to here. Then we're creating the second one, which is the same node from here to here. Now that same thing, the same, the same, what happens to slab is the same thing we're going to do here. So click on offset edge. We can now bring out this one. Let's say maybe we want to place some flowers or something here. You can do it like that. So you can see how flexible this thing is. So your TV here, some flowers here, Maybe some flowers here or your it all depends on what you want. Okay, it depends on what you want. And if for instance, can we curve here? Let's see if we can curve this point. Let's create note here. I'm just trying. <laughs> Let's see if we can create if we can make this thing curve. I'm actually seeing a curve here. I'm seeing a curve here. You're seeing, I don't know if you're seeing what I'm seeing. <laughs> All right, so you can see it. So with this particular one, if you need this, if you need a circle, if you need a circular one, if you need a circular one, just click here and select the circular one. This is a circle, okay? Just double click there. You can bring that same circle here, okay? Bring it here, and then you can still extend the diameter, okay? Um, you can increase the diameter by typing the figure here. Okay, let's say um, 300. You can see that this one is 300. So, this is how to create one inch in Archicad. Okay, this is how to create one inch in Archicad. So, thank you so much for your time. If you find the video helpful, please don't forget to subscribe. And if you have any other question regarding this, please drop it on the comment section. Okay. I'm 100% there to answer you. Alright, thank you so much for your time. Do have a lovely day.